Now here in the, in the next chapter what you have is coordinate geometry. <coughs> okay, that is you have the Cartesian plane. This is called a Cartesian plane. You know the graph sheet, no? How you plot the points. So this is called a Cartesian plane. That is you have the x-axis, you have the y-axis, then you have the x-dash, then you have the y-dash. Okay, so this fully is called the Cartesian plane. Now in this chapter, you have some formulas, okay. The first exercise doesn't need any formulas, okay. You just have to plot the points. So I'm not confusing you with the formulas first. First, we will just plot the points and we will know it lies in which quadrant. That is first quadrant or second quadrant or third quadrant or fourth quadrant. Okay, when you see the first quadrant, what happens? Both x and y coordinates, both are positive. When you see the second quadrant, the x coordinate is negative and the y coordinate is positive. Okay, when you see the third quadrant, the x coordinate and the y coordinate both are negative. When you see the fourth quadrant, the x coordinate is positive and the y coordinate is negative. Okay, so these are the things you have. You have this is x axis, this is y axis, the negative part is called x dash, the negative part of y is called y dash. Okay, so this is all the things you have. So first we will just plot the points. Okay, the first exercise we will do, it's very easy. Now what they have told in the first one, plot the following points in the coordinate system and identify the quadrants. So here you have, the first point you have is, now see here, the first point P you have, minus 7, 6. Okay, minus 7, 6 is the first point. So, where you have minus 7, 6, this is the point P. Okay, this is the point P you have. This is P. Here you have minus 7, comma 6. Now, this is in which quadrant? Minus 7, comma 6. This is the second quadrant. Okay. So, minus 7, comma 6 will lie in which quadrant? It will lie in the second quadrant. The next point you have is Q. Q7, comma minus 2. So, where is 7, comma minus 2? This is your 7 and this is your minus 2. Okay, this is your minus 2. So, here you have, this is the point Q, 7, comma minus 2. Okay, 7, comma minus 2. This is your point Q. Next thing you have is R, minus 6, comma minus 7. So, this is your minus 6, comma minus 7, which quadrant? Third quadrant. Okay, so this is your point R minus 6, comma, minus 7. Okay, minus 6, comma, minus 7 is your third quadrant. Now next you have S3, comma, 5. So 3, comma, 5 is in which quadrant? First quadrant. This is your first quadrant. Okay, this is your point S3, comma, 5. The next thing you have is T. 3 comma 9. The same quadrant. Okay. This is your T. 3 comma 9. Okay. So this is how you will plot the points and you have to write the quadrant also. Okay. So first what you do? First you plot the points. Okay. First you plot the points and see this exercise you have to do in the graph, uh, graph notebook. Okay. This exercise you have to do in the graph notebook. Exercise 5.1 you have to do in the graph notebook. So, you will plot these points on the graph sheet and on the rule set you will write this. Okay, on the rule set you will write this. So, P minus 7, 6 lies in which quadrant? Second quadrant. Okay, this one. Then Q 7 minus 2. Q 7 minus 2 is where? This is your 7, this is your minus 2. So, this lies in which quadrant? Fourth quadrant. Okay, this lies in 7 comma minus 2 lies in fourth quadrant. So, Okay, next one is minus 6, minus 7. So, minus 6, minus 7 lies in which quadrant? Third quadrant. Next is S3, 5. It lies in which quadrant? First quadrant. Same way, 3, 9, that also lies in first quadrant. So, what you will do? In the graph sheet, you will draw this. Okay, on the rule set, you have to write this. Don't forget to write this also. And in the graph also, you write first, second, third, fourth. Now, second Roman letter, what you have? Second Roman letter, which 
uh, write down the abscissa and the ordinate of the following in figure 5.11. Now, uh, what is what they have given here is C. They have given the graph over here, okay. That is, you have to write the x coordinate and the y coordinate. Okay, what do you mean by abscissa and ordinate? x coordinate and the y coordinate. That is what you have to write. Okay, that is called abscissa and ordinate. Now, the first point what you have is P. Now, what is the point P here? You can make out. First, when you are writing, you have to always write the x coordinate and then you have to write the y coordinate. Okay, don't interchange that. So, the point here is minus 4, comma 4. So, what you will write? You will write like this, okay. Like this you will write minus 4, comma 4. So, the first point P is minus 4, comma 4. The second point Q, what you have? 3, comma 3. Okay, the second point you have, this is 3 and this is 3. So, you have 3, comma 3. Next point R. Where is your R? R is over here. So, you have 4, comma, minus 2. The point R is 4, comma, minus 2. Next one is, uh, fourth one, S. So, S you have over here, minus 5, comma, 3. The point S is minus 5, comma, 3. Okay, so write all these points. Minus 5, comma, minus 3 here, S. P is minus 4, comma, 4. Q is 3, comma, 3. R is 4, comma, minus 2. The first one is called the abscissa, next one is called the ordinate, x coordinate and y coordinate. Now the next one you have, third Roman letter, plot the following points in the coordinates plane and join them. What is your conclusion about the resulting figure? So they have given four points, you need to plot them. Okay, so when you plot them, just see what you will get. And the first point they have given is, Minus 5, comma, 3. Now, where is your minus 5? This is your minus 5. Okay. Just put the numbers here. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. So, this is your minus 5 and this is your 3. So, minus 5, comma, 3 will be this point. Next one you have is minus 1, 3. This is your minus 1 and this is your 3. So, minus 1, 3 will be over here. The next point you have is 0, 3. Now, 0, 3 means what? See, 0, 3. Now, which is 0 here? This is your x coordinate. This is your y coordinate. Okay. Now, whenever the x coordinate is 0, it will always lie on the y axis. Okay. Whenever the x coordinate is 0, keep that in mind always when you are plotting the points. Okay. Whenever the x coordinate is 0, it will lie on which axis? Y axis. So, 0, 3 will lie on the y-axis. Now, the last point you have is 5, 3. So, this is your 5 and this is your 3. That is your first quadrant. So, 5, 3 is over here. Okay. Now, what you have to do? You need to join them. Okay. Now, when you join them, what you are getting? You are getting a straight line. Right? Now, the straight line is parallel to which axis? It is parallel to the x-axis. Okay. The straight line, what you are getting? That is parallel to the x axis. So, by joining the points, we get a straight line which is parallel to x axis. So, this is how you will do the first one. Second one, what you have? Second one, you have the points 0, minus 4, 0, minus 2, 0, 4, 0, 5. So, we will see the points, okay, where it lies. Now see, all the cases when you see the x coordinate is 0, like here I told you. Okay, whenever the x coordinate is 0, what will happen? It will lie on the y axis. Okay, it will lie on the y axis. So, here you have the first point 0, comma, minus 4. This is your 0, comma, minus 4. The second point you have is 0, comma, minus 2. This is 0, comma, minus 2. The next point you have is 0, comma, 4. This is your point 0, comma, 4. The next point 0, comma, 5. That also again on the y-axis. So, 0, comma, 5. So, what we can see? 
the straight line is overlapping on the y axis it's lying on the y axis so we just we can just write a straight line which lies on the y axis okay a straight line which lies on the y axis so first you have to draw this on the graph sheet and on the rule side you have to write this okay so these two sums you can do in one page itself okay don't waste the page you can do it in one page itself if you want you can take separate pages or it will fit in one page itself okay you can do it in one page now the next one you have plot the following points in the coordinate plane okay this is called a coordinate plane where you have x axis y axis x dash y dash this is called a coordinate plane or the cartesian plane join them in order what type of geometrical shape is formed so what you have to do you have to just plot and see okay now the first one you have 0 0 now where 0 0 lies 0 0 lies in the origin this is the origin okay this is your x this is your y this is your y dash this is your x dash okay so here we can say the point 0 0 first point is over here second point you have Minus four comma zero. Okay, now minus four comma zero, which is zero here. The y coordinate is zero. So y coordinate is zero means it will lie on which axis? It will lie on the x axis. Okay, so minus four zero is over here. The next point you have is minus four comma minus four. This is your minus four comma minus four. The next point you have zero comma minus four. This is your zero and this is your minus four. That is the x coordinate is zero, so it will lie on the y axis. So when you join all this, what you will get? You will get a. Here also you have minus four. Here also you have minus four. So this length also is equal. This length also is equal. This is also equal. This is also equal. So what shape is that? This is a square. Okay. So you have to write the figure obtained is a square. Okay. On the rule side, you have to write. The figure obtained is a square. Okay, the figure obtained is a square. Now the next one you have the first point minus three comma three. So where is minus three? This is minus three. Minus three comma three will lie over here. Okay, so this is your second quadrant minus three comma three. Next one is two comma three. Two comma three will be in which quadrant? First quadrant. This is your two and this is your three. Okay, two comma three will lie in the first quadrant. Next you have minus six comma minus one. So this is your minus six. This is your minus one. Third quadrant. Okay, both are negative now, so it will lie in the third quadrant. Minus six comma minus one. The last point you have is. Five comma minus one, so this is your five and this is your minus one in the fourth quadrant. So what you have? This is your x. This is your y. This is your y dash. This is your x dash. Okay, write all that. So when you join all this, what you will get? You will get a trapezium. What's a trapezium? Only one pair of opposite sides is parallel. That is called a trapezium. So what shape you are getting? You are getting a trapezium. So you just have to write the figure obtained is a trapezium. The figure obtained is a trapezium. Okay, that is how you have to do this. So as I told you, exercise five point one fully you will do in the graph notebook. The second Roman letter also you have to write like this. Okay, see this two you can do in the same page. Okay, both this you can do in the same page. That is, this is the first one. First one you will need the this you have to draw in the graph sheet and then write this in the rule side. Now below that that you write question number two and write all this. 
okay you need not draw the graph from the textbook okay you need not draw the graph from the textbook you can just see the textbook graph and you can just write in the graph notebook, uh, notebook rule side page okay then these two again you do in the same page okay these two you can again do in the same page write the answers on the rule side with pencil only with pencil okay the next thing is these two. These two again you can do in the same page if you have place or you can take different pages. No problem. Because after this we don't have any graph. Okay. So you will have pages in the graph notebook. If you want you can take separate pages or you can take the same page. No problem. So this completes your first exercise. Okay. Now in the next exercise what you have is see. You have plotted these points now. Like minus 4, 0, minus 4, minus 4 and all. Okay, now what we have in the next exercise is how to find the distance between these two points. Like you have minus 4, 0 and 0, 0. How to find the distance between these two? Or how to find the distance between these two? Or here you have the point minus 6, minus 1 and 5, minus 1. How to find the distance between them? That is what you have in the next exercise. Okay, so... We will start the next exercise, okay. So, you have to learn one formula for your next exercise. Okay, the full exercise you have only one formula that is called distance formula. Okay, what you call? That is called distance formula. Now, the formula goes like this. Distance between two points x1, y1 and x2, y2. Okay, the points x1, y1 and x2, y2. This is generally how we say. Like how we say the length of a rectangle, uh, the area of a rectangle L into B, no, like that. Okay. So, here this is x1, y1, x2, y2. So, the distance formula you have is square root of x2 minus x1, x2 minus x1, the whole square plus y2 minus y1, the whole square. How you read this? x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square full root. Okay, this is the formula for finding distance between any two points on the coordinate plane or the Cartesian plane. So, we will start the first one. The first set of point you have is 1, 2 and 4, 3. Okay, 1, 2 and 4, 3. So, first you write the formula. Distance between two points. Square root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. Okay. Now, see what you have to do is write the points given. Okay. On the top with pencil you write x1, y1, x2, y2. In all the sums in the exercise, whenever you are doing this, you have to write on the top x1, y1, x2, y2. Then only it will be easy for you to put it in the formula. Okay, so here you have x2 minus x1. Okay, x2 minus x1 the whole square. No? So 4 minus 1 the whole square plus 3 minus 2 the whole square. Okay. 4 minus 1 the whole square, x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. So, what is x2 minus x1? 4 minus 1 that is 3 square plus 1 square. So, what you will get? 3 square is 9, 9 plus 1 is 10. 10 you have to write it as, that is 10, root 10 units. Okay, because we don't know it's meter or kilometer or centimeter. Okay, so just write root 10 units. That is the distance between these two points. You need not find the root and all. Okay, directly you can write root 10 units. Suppose if some other thing is there, you have to factorize and write. That I will tell you. Okay. So, here you just have to write root 10 units. So, we have used the formula square root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. Now, the next one you have, we are doing the third one, okay. Second one is homework for you, third one we are doing. Now, third one you have A, comma B, C, comma B. So, use the first, what you have to do? First, you have to write the formula. So, here you have 
distance between two points x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. So here you will get what is your x2? C. What is this one? A. So C minus A the whole square plus B minus B the whole square. Now what is B minus B? That is 0. So this part will give you 0. So here you have root of C minus A the whole square which is same as C minus A. Okay. So this is how you will do the third one. Second one is homework for you. And write units over here. Okay. Don't forget. Now next thing you have is 3 comma minus 9 and minus 2 comma 3. Now distance between the two points x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. So right here what is x1, what is y1, what is x2, what is y2. Write with pencil, okay. So we have root of x2 minus x1 that is minus 2 minus 3. Minus 2 minus 3 the whole square plus 3 minus of minus 9. Two negative signs are there so put one in bracket. Okay, 3 minus of minus 9 the whole square. So here you have minus 5 the whole square plus 12 square. So this is 25 plus 144. What is 25 plus 144? 169. Now what is root of 169? 13. Because 13 square only is 169. Right? If you want you can take it and see. 169. How will you take the root? This is 1 and this is 1. Okay. So 1, 1 is a 1, 0 and this is 69. Double of 1 is 2. So 23 into 3, 69, 0. So what you have? 13. So root of 169 is 13. Okay. So this is how you will do the first Roman letter. So second part is homework for you. Okay. So do it neatly. And uh, complete your graph also. Okay, then and there you have to complete your classwork children. Okay, max and all, if you don't listen, you can't understand anything. Because all these formulas you have next year also. So please listen carefully to each and every class. Complete your classwork every day. Be regular in your work. And your homework for today is 5.2 first Roman letter, second one.